we're gonna start we're gonna start this call with prayer in the spirit so just join right in with me so do 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 Welcome everybody to the call. We're just starting off with prayer in the spirit. Just join in with us wherever you are. Welcome to the call. We're just starting off with prayer in the spirit. Pray in the spirit with us. Thank you, Father, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, thank you, Father, for the gift of tongues. Thank you, Father. For this unknown language. That we can speak to you directly. Thank you for the infilling, Lord, of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit, thank you for praying through us the perfect will of God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let me turn this music down a little bit. 
Hallelujah. <clears throat> well, I hope that bless you. If you didn't bless you, it sure bless me. Glory be to God. Welcome to another Monday night prayer uh, with the whole family church. You're on the line with the whole family church if you didn't know already. <laughs> if you joined the wrong line, don't get off. Just stay on and pray with us. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is so good. He's so good. And um, I wrote a couple of notes because there's some things I want to say um, and I didn't want to forget. Um, but, uh, thank you. First of all, for those who, who were on early and, and joined with us as we prayed in the spirit. Um, uh, again, this is such a crucial moment that we are in. Um, and I think that we really need to all be collectively ready for anything, be ready for change, be ready on a dime to make a move when necessary. Don't always get so stuck and this and well it's got to go a certain way and oh it's gotta we got to do it like this because this is how we always do it we are in a time right now where nothing is going to be done the way we always do it <laughs> it's going to seem like that sometimes maybe but the key to making it through that and not only making it through but prospering through it growing through it flourishing through it is to remain ready at all times I worked one uh, a few years back for um, a, a, a law firm called Brown Greer, and I had a a very particular boss. He was he was on one hand uh, a crazy maniac, and on the other hand he was a genius. And uh, the genius side of him taught me a lot. And one of the things that he taught me was that we are that we should remain in certain situations, not every situation, not every day of your life, not all the time. But there are certain times that comes where you have to be in almost catastrophe mode. And what he what he would say was that catastrophe mode means that you are ready for whatever comes at any times at any time to change on a dime and to do it without being frustrated. That at any given moment, you can make a change and it not frustrate you because you understand the times that you're living in. You understand the moment that you're in. And I believe that that type of preparedness is going to be crucial in this day and in this hour and in this time that we are in. You need to be ready to make a move, to turn, as they say, on a dime. And so uh, thank you again for those who, who were on the call early. And we, we just, for those who weren't on there, we just prayed in the spirit a little bit. That's why I'm saying this. Uh, we prayed in the spirit for the first five minutes and uh, and, I, and we're going to pray some more before the call is over. Amen. All right. So uh, y'all know since Easter, uh, we've been talking about the hour has come. The hour has come for the church to be one. Somebody say that. Say the hour has come for the church to be one. And y'all, I believe that without a doubt, this is one of the most important messages that God has ever given me, for sure, uh, because it's crucial that we, the body of Christ, operate in this day as one man, uh, that we operate as one body, um, uh, you know, on one accord. And so, you know, I thought yesterday, if you weren't there yesterday, Lisa did a fantastic job. She did a wonderful job of bringing home the point that we must be one in the word. Um, one in the word. And, 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 you know, and she brought us through, and we're going to do a little bit of a review, but she brought us through the passage where uh, Jesus talked about in Gen uh, John chapter 17, um, his final prayer, where he prayed for us that we would be one. And she went from there to Emmaus Road and showed that when Jesus revealed himself to the disciples, he didn't reveal himself on, on Emmaus Road by just saying, hey, look at these scars, look at this, you know, look at me, uh, per se. He began to actually show them the scripture. Uh, he began to show them all throughout the scripture, the Old Testament, um, where it was pointing to him. And so he literally was pointing the disciples to the scripture, and we know 
um, that as he was doing that, he was also pointing them to him. And so it's literally one and the same because he is the word, right? He's the word made flesh. And so by pointing them to the word, he's pointing them to himself. And um, it was just a very great time. Um, uh, she did, like I said, she did such a good job. She's so studious. <laughs> and y'all, you know, we didn't do it. We didn't, I didn't uh, have her minister so I could get, you know, a break and, and whatever. You know, I thank God for the break. Um, but really, she's there because she's anointed. She's anointed. And she has something to say. And I don't believe in wasting the talent and the gifts uh, that's around me. I believe, I believe strongly <laughs> in using the people that are around me um, so that we all can grow. I believe everybody has something to give. Everybody, everybody has something to give. And so, um, you know, like I said, she's so studious. She spent hours upon hours studying and getting ready for uh, for Sunday, for yesterday. And she really nailed it. Uh, if you weren't there uh, or if you were watching online or if you didn't watch online, I encourage you to go back and watch it. And even for those who Maybe you were there. Maybe you did watch online. I encourage you to go back and watch again because there's a lot that you catch the second time that you didn't catch the first time. I know I did. Uh, there was a lot that I learned on that second go around. And so, um, you know, we are really, uh, I'll say, I'm going to say it like this. We're on a mission right now. And, uh, you know, I can't say that I, I know all the end game of everything, but what I do know and believe is that we are to always just do our part and let God do the rest. You know, um, uh, Bo has a song, he said, yeah, good, better, best, but never let it rest. To your good is your better and your better is your best. I love that line. Uh, but it's true. You know, we are to do our part, you know, and let God do the rest. We don't have to figure it all out. Right. And so, um, uh, you know, I, I told you before, I told you since we made this, 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 this transition, I'll say into all this, you know, I have no intentions of doing everything at the whole family church. Uh, if you think I do, you definitely don't know me. Uh, you know, I believe strongly, strongly that the next great move of God is not centered around some big name superstar or preacher. I don't believe it. I believe it's when the body of Christ wakes up and realizes that each of us has a very important role and a part to play. And that's why we need to see more people step up like never before. We need more people serving. I'm not talking about just in the body of Christ. I'm talking about at the whole family church. All right, let's, let's, let's be specific. Um, more people helping, more people giving, more people contributing to the whole. Why? Because we all benefit. We all benefit when everybody is giving. When every Then the load is not all on one person. Can I get an amen, an ouch, or something out there? Amen. You know, we, we've got to uh, step up. Now is the time to do it. Now is the moment. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get kicked out out the boat before you think you're even ready to get out the boat, but you got to get out the boat. You got to serve. You got to do something. Amen. So don't wait, get involved at a higher level. Y'all level up. Somebody say level up. And so I want to go and I want to take a second and just look at, um, the prayer, the prayer that Jesus prayed for us. Um, in John chapter 17, he says, and this is, I love this. Because Jesus says here, he says, I don't, I don't pray for these alone. In other words, he was talking about his disciples. I don't want to pray just for these alone. He said, it's not for their sake only that I make this request. He said, but also for all those who will ever believe and trust in me through their message. Y'all, this is the moment in which Jesus begins to pray for us. Jesus begins to pray for you and for me. Jesus prayed for you. That's a powerful thing. I dare you to, to meditate on that, to chew on that. Now, what was his prayer? What did he pray for us? He prayed that they, that they all may be one. Just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, 
that they also may be one in us so that the world may believe without any doubt that you sent me. Then he says it again, I've given to them the glory and honor which you have given to me, that they may be one just as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may be perfected and completed into one so that the world may know, we see it, we see it again, without any doubt that you have sent me and that you have loved them just as you have loved me. Oh, this is so, 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 so important. The reason I say that this is probably the greatest message that, you know, I feel like God has ever given me is because it's, it's a message that's based on Jesus's prayer. Jesus, we're talking about Jesus, y'all. <laughs> Jesus prayed a prayer that I believe has not been answered yet. I believe we're still, we're still waiting to see the real manifestation of this. And we're going to get into this more on Sunday. Y'all, I'm telling you, you need to be there Sunday. Do not miss Sunday. You need to be in the house. Uh, butts and seats, as they say. <laughs> All right. Be there. Be there on Sunday. Um, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. Um, but this one that that Jesus is speaking about right here is he's talking about. And I love how she put this. Lisa said. He's not talking about us all melting and, and somehow merging into one big conglomerate and losing our personal identity of, you know, who we are, our uniqueness. No, it's talking about unity. It's talking about togetherness, being of one mind and on one accord. Um, you know, and I love how she said anything in life that that's that's re where uh, oneness is required. It also requires us to rally around a certain a certain thing, a central thing. And the central thing that we as believers gather around is the word of God. It's the word of God. And so she went through the six things um, that I, I thought were so great. We're just going to, again, briefly say them. But the, the, the first one was read the word. You know, first Timothy 413 says, give attention to reading, make sure y'all make sure that you are reading the word you, you should have. You should be developing on your own a regular habit of reading the word. If I'm a Christian, I need to know what it is. I believe you need to be able to have a discussion about Christianity, a discussion about the things that you believe. And that begins with a very simple thing just read just read right then the second thing is believe the word so once you finish okay now i've read it now i've got to attach my faith to what i've read i've got to come to a place where i believe that this is in truth the word of god that i'm not just reading a book this is not jet magazine or ebony or none of those things no this is the word of god these are letters from god to me to us, to the world. And so it's once you've read, now you have to apply your faith and belief to the word. The next thing is study the word. It's number three, study the word. <clears throat> and again, I love how she pointed out that studying is different than reading. You know, reading is, you know, you can kind of casually read a thing, but studying is when you really dig in. That's when you get you get to the point where you're looking up Greek words and Hebrew and and trying to really figure out, get down into the nitty gritty of it all uh, to understand the background and the context of what it is that you're reading. It's very important. The Bible says in Second Timothy 215, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that doesn't need to be ashamed because you rightly divide the word of truth. Let me tell you, the way to do that is by study diligent study you got to get in this book and you got to study it and you and, and here's the thing do it without somebody making you do it do create one of the things um my grandfather used to tell us was there was a time um where he wasn't as interested in the word as he as he felt he wanted to be and so he would just begin to make the confessions of i love the word i love reading the word I love studying the word. He began to just confess and confess and confess that. And y'all, I can testify for as long as I knew him. I always saw a man, because this obviously happened when he was much younger, but my grandfather, when I met him, when I knew him, he was a man 
that love studying and reading his word. And so um, you can develop an appetite for the word, just like you develop an appetite for anything else. You know, before I, before Lisa and I got married, I never thought I would be eating Lebanese food. She told me about, you know, we got married and she was like, we were on a fast one time for, for, for church. And she was like, well, if we go to uh, get some Lebanese food, there are certain things that are like vegetarian, so on and so forth. So I was like, okay, all right, fine, I'll try it. Man, they, these people grilled some vegetables. Man, I'm telling you, it was the best vegetables I ever tasted in my life. And what happened after that? I developed an appetite for it. I went from saying, I'm never eating that. I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know what these smells. Blah. All this whining and complaining about something I didn't even know about. I went from that to now it's like one of my favorite types of, of meals. So what I'm saying is you can develop an appetite, but you don't develop the appetite until you at least give it a try. So you gotta, you've gotta, you've gotta give this word a try. You gotta start reading. You know, there are Bible. We have no excuse in this day and age not to, re, not to be reading the Bible, not to be at least getting some level of word. You, you could just start with group me, pass a post, a, a, a post every day. That could be your, that could be your devotion. Just read that one scripture, one scripture. My goodness, I, I'm, it's not too much to ask for you to read that one scripture meditate on it a little bit chew on it get it on the inside of you read what he writes about it underneath hit the little heart say amen to it you know i'm no pastor right now he's probably cheering right now he loved this but i'm serious you really you could start with something that small and then level up your reading to okay now i'm gonna read a chapter a day you know i love what lisa says she for, for the longest she wanted to read the whole bible she wanted to read the whole bible had never and then this year y'all I've been watching her steadily leveling up and, and getting her reading in and she's almost finished reading the whole Bible. And so I'm telling y'all, this is something I, I just, I can't stress to you enough how important it is that we all don't just hear what I'm telling you right now. Don't just let the words go, go in one ear and one out the other. If you're hearing it, it's for a reason. If you're hearing this, it's for a reason. You got to know God has you hearing it for a reason. Let it inspire you. Let it encourage you. Let it push you. Let it challenge you to do something. Amen. Which brings us to our next one, which is think the word. So we said study the word. Then she went to think the word. You know, as you get in this word and you study and you read, your mind is going to start changing your thoughts are going to start changing because you're going to be reading stuff that's contrary to the thoughts that you have you your normal self and 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 the way to renew the mind is to allow the word of god to become the highest authority in your life to strive for that to be your high point your high bar to put aside whatever you thought and to think the word let your thoughts be the thoughts of God that you see in the scripture. What happens when we think a thing? We also start talking like that. So number five is speak the word. Speak the word. When you begin to think and chew on this long enough, you're going to start talking it. You're going to start saying it. You're going to stop saying that old stuff that you used to say. How about you? You know, you 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 know. Oh, woe is me. Oh, I can't do, I can't get over. Oh, things will never change. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says I'm a I'm an overcomer. The Bible says, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I'm going to begin to now speak the things because out of the abundance of my heart, the mouth speaks. Everything that's been going in me, this word that I'm hearing at church, I'm now in my Bible, I'm reading, I'm listening to podcasts, I'm doing, your mind, everything, your heart is going to begin to change. And as your heart begins to change, your mouth is going to begin to change, guaranteed. As the chef used to say, I guarantee it. I guarantee. So I'm telling you, the next level is going to be speaking the word. And then finally, I love this, do the word. So, you know, we could, we could, we could hear and we could read and we could do all these things. But y'all, at the end of the day, this has to turn in to action. 
it's got to turn into action, doing the word. That means our behavior. That means the way we go about life begins now to change in accordance with what we're reading, what we are hearing uh, 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 and what we're chewing on. This word now becomes a part of us. It becomes we, we become engrafted. We become mixed in with the word to the point where our life, it begins to, to flow out of us and we begin to manifest the word in our very life. Say, man, you know, uh, you know, again, I told y'all, you know, it's a good example. That's why I use this one, but uh, turn the other cheek. You know, that's one, if you just hear that and you don't really have that in your heart, man, that's hard to do. But when you really begin to bake, chew on that and study that and, 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 bake and understand it, then doing that becomes the easier thing. It becomes your natural way. Doing the word becomes your natural thing. Want, having a desire to live holy becomes your natural thing. You, you, st you start not wanting to do, I don't want to do what I was doing before. I don't want to be looking at what I was, I was looking at before. Now all of a sudden I get a check on the inside because I, I have this desire now to do something different. And so it's a process, y'all, but I'm telling you, if you will commit to this process, if you will co truly commit to this process, you will come to the point, all of us will begin to come to the point where we are growing, where we are seeing e the growth in each other. I'm telling you, 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 you want to see a revival break out. Let a revival break out amongst people who are all growing in the spirit together. That is a powerful powerful thing that's why you see it on often a lot of revivals happen on college campuses because you got a group of young people who are there they're already in a mode of learning they're already there to you know uh trying to level up their lives etc and now they the holy ghost hit at their church or what have you you know and they get in them bibles they start reading and praying and fasting on their own and doing all this different stuff man you better believe a revival gonna break out well y'all it's the same thing it can happen anywhere. It don't have to be a college campus. It can happen in your household. Yeah, if you and your, your, your spouse, your kids, if maybe it's just you and kids, whatever, whoever's in the household, if everybody together starts moving in a certain direction, when it comes to this word, we're going to pray every night or we're going to read for 15 minutes. Whatever it is, you are going to see a market change in that household, period. It's going to happen. It has to happen. And it's got to happen that way at the church as well. It's got to happen that way at the church as well. I want to see, see each of you, every one of you leveling up in your relationship with God, in your reading, in your desire for God, in your worship. Come on, it's not, we're, not, this, we're not playing games here. I want to, we need to see results. If you need help, you need recommendations, whatever you need, we've made ourselves available. But at the end of the day, it's you who've got to want it. You got to want this. Nobody can't want it for you. You got to want this. You got to want God. You got to be hungry and thirsty for righteousness. Those are the people that Jesus said shall be filled. All right. So, man, it's 728. Jeez, I'm okay. Well, we did start off with prayer in the spirit and we're going to end off in prayer in the spirit. I wanted to read some prayers. I had three good ones, but we're going to save these. Uh, I didn't preach myself happy, so I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost is here already. We've gathered two or more. There's more than two or three of us on the line. So the Holy Ghost is here already. So really, I just want you to, again, get where, wherever you are. Just get quiet. Steal yourself, and we're going to pray in the Holy Ghost. Remember that as we are doing this, that we are praying the perfect will of God for our lives, for the people around us, for our families. Remember that what you're doing is important. You're not just uttering some random words. You are praying in the spirit. You're praying. You, this is a heavenly language that's going to bypass your mind. It's going to go straight to heaven. Amen? All right. So let's pray together. In the spirit, hallelujah. Robo kose kere de 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 o sa ta ta ta. Rabada na 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 mo kose te de 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 andara de de o sa te te keso. 
Rabarada de Dio Condoro de Vosso Coro de Masata Rembe Kelen and Messe Kelen de Vosso Toro de Dianda de Ravasaka Rebe de Dianda de Dio Condor de Dio Satara de Diese Rebe de Dio Soto Toco Satala la 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 brande de Diese Ki Rabarada de Vosso Coso Toro de Namasi Ramana Nana Nana Mande de Dio Soto de Dianda de Dianda de Diese Rabarada de Vacanda la Lana Mosso Coso Rembe gede de 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 be kende de de di anda da 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 ba sata. Raba kanda na 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 manda ro ro de di oso kololo lolo vosi ki. Rembe kede de di anda na 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 masa ta da 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 ba sata ta ta. Eke se kile ne mosoto. Rama na 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 manda ro de di di oso tolo de di anda da 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 ba sa. Rebe de 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 di e kende de di di oso tolo lolo de di di osa. Rama la 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 ba sa da 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 be kende de de di e kete de de bosoto. Soto to to ko sa ta da 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 ba nseke. Sondo do 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 de di anda da na na makaya. Raba da 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 ba kanda de de di e kende de de di di e se. Soto ko so to lo lo da vo so ko. Sa na 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 man se te de 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 di o ko sa ta da da ba. Robo do de di di anda da de di o se ke de de di anda da 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 ba sa. In de 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 bo ko sa ta la 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 vo so ko de 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 be se. Rama na 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 man se ke de 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 be ke te de 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 bo sa. Se de 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 di o so ko da 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 de di anda da da de di a sa. Ah la 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 ba kanda de 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 ken de 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 oso toro lo 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 oso. Se de 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 o konda la 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 banda de 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 ken de 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 oso to. Isha kara la 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 branda de 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 be ke oso. Raba la 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 bo ko oso to to ko se. I de 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 anda la 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 banda de 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 oso to ko se. Ah la 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 branda kanda. Rombo ko oso to to do 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 se. Isa kana na 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 manda de 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 osa. Robo do 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 de 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 anda da 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 ba kanda de 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 bese. Soko so toro da da bande de 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 yese ke. Rebe de 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 yoso toro da na na manse ke de 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 anda da da ba sa. Raba kara da de yoso te ke. I de 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 yoso to. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory to God. Glory, 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 glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. God is so good. God is so good, y'all. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. We all, our 30 minutes are up. And um, I want to give you one quick thing before we go. Um, we've been looking at it for a little while and, um, there's a change, a great change that we're going to be making to our Monday night prayer. We're actually going to be moving Monday night prayer to Wednesday, 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 somebody say Wednesday. And so beginning, this will begin in May and the first Let's see the third, the first Wednesday prayer that we will have, uh, uh, it will be on the third. So May 3rd is the first one. Um, um, we're, we're looking at how, how we're going to go about it, if we're going to add to it or, or what things we'll add to it, uh, so on and so forth. But for right now, uh, it's prayer, we're moving it from Monday night to Wednesday from Monday to Wednesday. And so there won't be any prayer on next Monday. It will be on Wednesday instead. And so look forward to updates concerning that. We are leveling up. We're making it better. Uh, We're taking it to the next level. And so uh, just get ready, be ready for that. Um, Like I said, May 3rd will be the very first one. And so I believe that's all we have for the night. Thank you all for being on the call tonight. I hope and I pray that you received from God that you heard. I pray that the Holy Ghost pulled on you and tugged at you and and, and is moving on your heart to level up in all areas of your life. Uh, You know, uh, it's just, I believe it's our time. So go ahead and, and go with God. Amen. All right. Well, that's all. Y'all have a great night and we will see y'all at the top. Have a good night.